Hi, Tracy here, um, T. Noppy on Twitter. Today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your WordPress blog using the WordPress Automatic Upgrade plugin. And today, in this particular instance, I am in the dashboard of my genesisblogging.com blog behind the scenes. And um, you'll see here that I have currently got it at the version 2.6.5 and I am going to be upgrading to the very latest version of uh, WordPress 2.7. Now because I have actually upgraded one of my other blogs um, to 2.7 I am um, I know that I actually need to go in and disable if you'll notice up here I have um, a plugin that I use that ca uses drop down menus for my um, administration area and that's this particular plugin and I actually know that I need to deactivate that before I do my upgrades because it is not compatible with a 2.7 version of WordPress and so if you're using the Oz um, uh, plug in for the uh, admin drop down menu in your version of WordPress you need to deactivate that before you um, upgrade just a little FYI for me save yourself a lot of trouble and if you are not using the automatic WordPress plugin you can get that over at the wordpress.org plugin directory and you can just put in and search for it uh, WordPress automatic upgrade it's right here download it um, install that and um, you'll you know get it installed and um, activated and then you're gonna see if you don't have the latest version you're gonna see something like this up here where it says click here to automatically upgrade WordPress to the latest version and that's what we're gonna do we're gonna click that I'm gonna show you how easy this is and um, then we're gonna see we're gonna see done all the checks we're gonna click here to start the upgrade basically you're just going to keep clicking and following the prompts very easy it says you they've backed up my files we want to download it yes I want to download it you always want to download the backups just in case I'm going to save it to my desktop I'll save it to my desktop you can save it wherever you want to um, doesn't really matter just save it you can save it in a special file wherever you want to save it go to the next next task next um, in it you can save back up your database um, and these are the ones that automatically does and then you can choose to back up all these tables I would go ahead and check all the boxes that are over here for any plugins that you're using and any extra tables that you might have be using for plugins go ahead and check those boxes too and then back up your database and then download your um, database files also and save that depending on the size of your site sometimes it will take a little bit longer uh, depending on the size of your database or your internet connection there we go okay then click next go to the next task okay and see it's even going to go to wordpress.org and it's going to get the latest files from WordPress for me how awesome is that does all the work for me I could sit here and have a glass of co uh, tea or a cup of coffee and it does all the work for me I just have to click next hope my finger doesn't get tired while I'm clicking my mouse button okay here we go click next it's downloaded it and unzipped all the files already okay now it's going to open it in a new window to confirm that it's put my site in maintenance mode. Yep, it sure did. Look at that. It certainly did. Okay. Going to go back here and click next. Okay. 
it upgrade this deactivates they've deactivated the plugins the next task it upgrades all the installation files so we're going to do that okay congratulations all my files have been upgraded click here to complete the final step and it opens it in a new window so we can handle that okay click that to upgrade it and then click continue okay and then it says click here to clean up the files and click to clean it up again for whatever reason, sometimes it wants you to do that more than once. Okay, now what I like to do is I then go back to the first window that I was at. Remember, it opened it up. When I clicked that, it opened it up into a new window. I go back here and I click Next Task again at the original window. Yeah, see, um, the plugin sticky, it's saying it could not be activated successfully. I have to manually activate that particular plugin. Okay, I'll know to go in and um, my sticky um, plugin, I'll have to do that manually. That's not a problem. I can make note of that. And then go back and um, my, you know, my, my upgrade is complete. And I, here, if I if you didn't download your backup files before it's giving you yet another opportunity to do that um, and it's telling you all you know giving you a, a listing of everything that it did um, all the way down you know so pretty thorough job but it's a you know it's a log of everything that it did and um, you know and it's again it's telling you to you know clean up the files um, you know, you get plenty of opportunity to back everything up. And there you are. Everything is done. Other than to go back and reactivate my one plugin. Um, you know, all the plugins, it, it makes note of all the plugins that you were using and it reactivates those for you. I know older versions of WordPress Automatic Upgrade, it did not do that. Um, and I had a couple of times I had issues where it did not accurately make note of all the plugins that I was using and it didn't go back and reactivate them all accurately but in newer versions of the WordPress automatic upgrade it did do that so you'll notice ah, it maybe it's not compatible that's why it didn't do it so okay this one's not compatible not a big deal we'll just use something else or nothing at all um, in this particular case for that particular plugin. Sometimes when you upgrade, plugins aren't compatible. You know, you have to go find a substitute or do without. Downside, I guess, to upgrading. Um, eventually they'll get, get new ones in there. Um, but you'll notice that the look of the dashboard is completely different. Now it's my understanding that in, um, see, they have an upgrade feature here in the new 2.7. and so the WordPress automatic upgrade will not necessarily the plugin itself isn't necessarily going to be needed what I'm not of course I haven't used it because 2.7 is brand new haven't used it yet don't know if it deactivates your plugins and does all that for you like I just showed you um, stay tuned for that when a new version comes out I'll test it for you do another video and let you know how it works but until then WordPress automatic upgrade go over here and get it at the um, plugin directory at wordpress.org try it out to upgrade your current version of WordPress or if you've even got an even older version to any you know any of the other versions um, works fabulous just did it for you in just a few minutes love it love it love it so anyway I'll uh, sign off now and if you have any questions check me out at genesisblogging.com or at T Tracy Noppy on Twitter. Talk to you soon.